Hello world, this is Random Fix. And if you guys are into camper vans and you guys are getting overwhelmed with all the information that you need to know about electronics and how much battery storage you have and you don't have and what it's using, I'm gonna go ahead and break that down in this video a little bit because we're gonna be talking about a battery shunt. A battery shunt is basically gonna keep track of all that information. So it lets you know how much power you have left, how much power you've consumed and how much power you're currently using. I'm going to show you guys this on the app and I'm going to go ahead and show you this here on the Victron 500 amp smart shunt right here. This is the Bluetooth version. So you don't have to sit here and run any wires for displays as when you're wiring up a van, there's already enough things to go ahead and keep track of. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hey everybody, so this is what we're going to be actually discussing today and this is what the product review is. I apologize, I actually have mine installed already, but I did want to go ahead and give you this quick review. So if you guys are thinking about getting a battery shunt, I can tell you what this is going to be used for and if it's any good and that's what this video is all about. And basically a battery shunt is a device that measures how much storage you have left in your batteries and it keeps track of that for you. So if you're going to go on a trip and you don't know how long your refrigerator is going to go ahead and last without running out of energy, this will go ahead and give you a pretty good idea of it. And it's really easy to go ahead and hook up. As it says, this goes to battery minus or negative and all loads, including all inputs and chargers come on this terminal right here. So you could use a little junction box and go ahead and get yourself some more working room if you need to do so. And the way I actually arrived at buying this Victron battery shunt was a long process and I tried to go cheap at first. So I bought this unit here for $33.91 guys and I wish I never bought it because it was complete junk and it was gonna be too complicated to set up and I didn't like the quality of it. And there was no point in me spending that much money on a van and all the batteries, electronics, we'll need to go ahead and get an inferior battery shunt like this. So I went ahead and scrapped this unit. Then I went and got this unit. Again, I didn't like the setup and I went to go buy this unit and this was not really what I needed as well. So finally, I got myself the Victron battery shunt with Bluetooth and the Bluetooth is built in and it could go ahead and network. So it's got a lot of future uses as well. And don't let the battery shunt confuse you with the actual battery charger because the battery charger here, what actually charges the battery, battery charger here will actually allow the batteries to get to 100%. And as this is pushing energy into the batteries through the shunt and all of this is going to go through the negative, you're gonna go ahead and be able to monitor that battery capacity. And I'll have a future review on this charger here as well, because it was really good quality. So check the video links down below and also at the end of this video. And let me go ahead and get in the van and I'll show you guys everything working behind the app and give you guys some tips. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna do a quick review of the Victron battery shunt here in the real world. This is not an unboxing. I've been using this for the last year and I want to share it with you guys my experience and some tips along the way. So let me go ahead and hop behind the app and then we can go try it out. All right, so we got the app right here. This is the Victron app. You can download it on the Play Store or the iOS Store. And the app is free. And you can see I have two devices here. I have the Victron 30 amp charger as well. In this video, we're going to connect to the battery shunt. And this is a 500 amp battery shunt. So if you have a basic van, this is gonna handle what you need. If you have a larger rig, you may need to go with a thousand amps, but this does not mean that your battery bank cannot be over 500 amps. So in my van, I have 1120 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate storage, and I still get away with this 500 amp version. And the 500 amp version will work for you unless you're putting out over 6,000 watts of power to your devices. This is going to work for 99% of people with camper vans. And this is going to be the data that's going to go ahead and show me. So right now I have the batteries fully charged. If they were not charged, it will go ahead and let me know how much power I have actually consumed down here and how much time this will go ahead and last for. I like this particular brand here from Victron just because they're constantly getting updates 
and I've had no issues with it other than when if you're using it on Android do not install the app on external storage and under the battery here I'm going to show you guys my settings so th this is the settings here for my battery I have 1120 amp hours this is going to be my charge voltage discharge floor and everything is customizable overall I've been really happy with the smart shunt here and for staying tuned until the end I told you guys I would share with you guys some tips tip number one go ahead and do a zero current calibration every six months just because I don't think the unit is basically compensating for the amount of power it's using itself tip number two if you have solar coming into your van and you don't know where to actually hook up that negative wire you want to go ahead and put it on the load side of the battery shunt just because if the power gets used you don't need to go ahead and calculate for it so don't put it on the battery side as it's not going to be able to figure out where that power is coming from and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up i did want to make this short and simple and if you guys got any questions or you want to check out the whole van build playlist please don't hesitate to do so down below and at the end of this video i'll have a review on the victron 30 amp bluetooth charger as well for you guys make it a great day thanks